Define dental siemens. Dental siemens are material of comparatively low strength substance that harden to act as a base, liner, filling material or adhesive to bind devices and prostheses to tooth structure or to each other. Q. Classify dental siemens. A. Classification based on application. Type 1 Luting Agents Type I Fine Grain for Cementation and Luting Type 2 Medium Grain for Bases, Orthodontic Purposes Type 2 Restorative Application Type 3 Her Liners or Base Applications B. Based on Ingredients Craig 12th Edition A. Water-Based Siemens Glass and Resin Modified Glass Ionomer Zinc polyacrylate zinc phosphate B. Resin-based Siemens Composite and adhesive resin compomers C. Oil-based Siemens Zinc oxide eugenol Non-eugenol zinc oxide C. Based on the bonding mechanism, Williams O'Brien 2002 and Richard Van Noot A. Phosphate-based Zinc phosphate cement Modified zinc phosphate cement. Fluoridated cement. Copper cement. Silicophosphate cement. B. Phenylate based. Zinc oxide eugenol cement. Reinforced zinc oxide eugenol. EBA and other chilte siemens. Calcium hydroxide chilte cement. C. Polycarboxylte based. Zinc polycarboxylte cement. Glass Ionomer Cement D. Methacrylate Based Acrylic Siemens BisGMA Type Siemens D. Classification Based on Setting Reaction Skinners A. Acid Base Reaction Zinc Phosphate Zinc Polycarboxylte Zinc Oxide Eugenol Glass Ionomer Cement B. Light Chemical Activities C. Polymerization and acid base reaction. Resin modified glass ionomer cement. D. Compomer. E. Resin cement. E. Classification EC Comb 6th edition. A. Acid base reaction Siemens. Zinc phosphate. Zinc polycarboxylate. Zinc oxide eugenol. Silicate. Glass ionomer cement. B. Polymerizing materials Acrylic polymer Cyanoacrylates Dimethacrylate polymers Polymer ceramic composites C. Other materials Calcium hydroxide Gata parcha Varnishes Q. What are the ideal properties of dental siemens? It should be Should be strong and hard Able to protect pulp should be insoluble in saliva and liquids taken in mouth. Should be dimensionally stable. Should be adhesive. Should be non-porous. Should be biocompatible and non-irritant. Coefficient of thermal expansion should be equal to the tooth structure. Should not be affected by thermal changes and moisture. Should be easy to manipulate. Q. Composition of silicate cement. Powder. Silica Alumina Fluoride compounds Calcium salts Fluoride flux To permit proper sintering of the other ingredients Liquid Phosphoric acid Water Buffer salts Q. What are the advantages of silicate cement? It exhibit good aesthetic qualities Antikaryogenic property Analogues to topical applied fluoride solution. Q. What are the disadvantages of silicate siemens? It lacks stability in oral fluids with loss of aesthetic qualities. Rubber dam is essential for successful silicate restoration. Irritant to pulp. Q. What are the other names of zinc phosphate cement? Crown and bridge cement. Zinc oxyphosphate cement. Q. Composition of Zinc Phosphate Cement A. Powder Zinc Oxide, Principal Constitute Magnesium Oxide, Aids in Sintering Other Oxides, Bismuth Trioxide, Calcium Oxide, 
improves smoothness and mix silica aids in sintering liquid phosphoric acid reacts with zeno water controls rate of reaction aluminum phosphate or zinc phosphate buffers aluminum zinc q mixing time for zinc phosphate cement 1 minute 15 seconds powder liquid ratio for zinc phosphate cement 1.4 grams per 0.5 milliliters q what is frozen slab technique frozen slab technique it is a practical way to increase the working time and reduce the setting time of zinc phosphate cement 50% increased powder liquid ratio mixing in a frozen glass slab at 21 degrees celsius effective when multiple castings are to be cemented excess of cement is easy to clean up but decrease in compressive strength q what are the uses of zinc phosphate cement looting of restorations cementations high strength bases temporary restorations looting of orthodontic bands and brackets q classify zinc oxide eugenol cement type 1 for temporary cementation type 2 for permanent cementation type 3 temporary filling and thermal base type 4 cavity liners q what is the composition of the zinc oxide eugenol cement powder zinc oxide white rosin zinc stearate zinc acetate magnesium oxide liquid eugenol olive oil q what is the powder liquid ratio of zinc oxide eugenol cement pl is equal to 4 1 6 1wt q what are the uses of zinc oxide eugenol cement one for temporary and permanent cementation for temporary fillings cavity lines and base pulp capping agent two secondary use root canal restorations periodontic bandage q what is the composition of polycarboxylate cement powder zinc oxide is equal to basic ingredient magnesium oxide is equal to principal modifier and also in sintering oxides of bismuth and aluminum is equal to small amounts Stannous fluoride is equal to increases strength, modified setting time, and imparts anti-carcinogenic property. Liquid aqueous solution of polyacrylic acid, copolymer of acrylic acid with other unsaturated carboxylic acids, i. e., taconic acid, malic acid, or tricarboxylic acid. Q. What are the advantages of polycarboxylate cement? They are good thermal insulators. The cement bond chemically with the tooth structure. They are less irritants than phosphate cement. Q. What are the uses of polycarboxylate cement? Primarily for looting permanent restorations. As bases and liners. Used in orthodontics for cementation of bands. Also used as root canal fillings in endodontics. Glass ionomer cement. adhesive tooth colored anticarcinogenic restorative materials q why the gic is named as glass ionomer cement it was named glass ionomer because the powder is glass and the setting reaction and adhesive bonding to the tooth structure is due to ionic bond q what is the composition of the glass ionomer cement powder the powder is an acid soluble calcium fluoroaluminosilicate glass silica co alumina alo3 aluminum fluoride alf calcium fluoride caf sodium fluoride naf aluminum phosphate alpo4 liquid earlier the liquid was a 40 to 50% aqueous solution of polyacrylic acid in most current cements the liquid contains polyacrylic acid in the form of copolymer with taconic acid malic acid and tricarboxylic acid tartaric acid water q what are the uses of gic as anterior aesthetic restorative material for class 3 cavity 
for eroded areas and class B cavities. As a luting agent. As liners and bases. For coal buildup. To a limited extent as pit and fissure sealants. Q. Classify GIC. A. Traditional classification, based on application. Type I. Luting Siemens. Type 2. Restorative Siemens. Restorative Aesthetic. Reinforced Materials, Fuji 9, Fuji 2 LC. Type 3. A liner or base. B. Newer classification. Type I. Luting Cement. Type 2. Restorative Aesthetic or Reinforced Cement. Type 3. A liner or base. C. Classification, based on use. Type I. Luting Siemens. Type 2. Restorative Siemens. Restorative Aesthetic. Reinforced Materials, Fuji 9, Fuji 2 LC. Type 3. A lining cement. Type 4. Fisher sealant. Type V. Orthodontic cement. Type 6. Coal build-up cement. Q. What are the advantages of GIC? Mechanical properties are good. Adhesionate adheres well to the enamel and dentine. GIC bond chemically to the tooth structure. Aesthetics They are tooth-colored restorative materials, so can use as anterior restorative material. Biocompatibility Pulpal response is mild. Anticaryogenic properties It releases fluoride and continue to do so over an extended period of time. Thereby preventing secondary caries. Q. What are the disadvantages of the GIC? Its hardness or wear resistance is less than composite. Fracture toughness is inferior to composite. Solubility The initial solubility is high due to leaching of intermediate products. GIC is extremely sensitive to air and water during setting, so requires protection during setting. Q. What are the recent advancements in GIC? 1. Dot metal modified GIC Silver alloy admixed Cermit 2. Dot resin modified GIC Q. What is the composition of calcium hydroxide cement? Base paste Glycol salicylate Calcium sulfate Titanium dioxide nut fillers, pigments Calcium tungstate or barium sulfate provides radiopacity Catalyst paste Calcium hydroxide Zinc oxide Zinc stearate Ethylene toluene Sulfonamide Q. What are the uses of calcium hydroxide cement? It is a relatively weak cement for direct and indirect pulp capping. As low strength bases beneath silicate and composite restorations for pulp protection. Apexification procedure in young permanent teeth where root formation is incomplete. Used as a liner. 